sa biglang palit ng uh, weather, biglang naging mainit. So alam niyo naman ang kutis ko pang America na, di ba? So konting init lang, I sweat, you know, pawis pawis. At kagabi po kami po ay nag-minister sa JPG Manila and God did uh, some good things and uh, we're so blessed. But of course, every time na kami po yung uwi dito, hindi pwedeng hindi kami dadaan sa ating mother church, sa ating central main church, which is this church here in Paranaque. And I'm really, really blessed to be here to bring our, our team members from New Life uh, Church Santa Rosa. So, ito po gagawin natin, lagay natin ating mga kamay sa ating mga puso. At tayo yung mananalangin. Sige po, buksan natin ating mga kamay. Ligay sa puso. Lord, salamat sa umaga nito. Sabagat walang ibang agenda kundi ikaw lamang. At handa kaming marinig ang iyong tinig. At Lord, samahan mo kami sa umaga nito maging sa hapon mamaya as we celebrate your goodness in this church. We thank you, Lord God, for we know our best is yet to come in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Palakpakan natin ang Diyos. Magno, mahirap pa talaga maging sinner, no? Na mamaos. Pero sa umagang ito, ako po excited. Sabagkat, kaya na sabi ko, tuwing po dadaan dito, laging may mensahe ang Panginoon. Amen ba? Excited po ba kayo sa umagang ito? Alright. Kahit nang nandito kayo, mamayang hapon, nandudong kayo sa anniversary, ha? Magpapacheklist tayo ng attendance kay Sister Ronnie. Kailangan na doon kayo. Amen? It's my pleasure to be here. And I want to share something to you specifically that I know that the Lord is sending as a message for this church. How many of you are hungry for a fresh revelation this morning? I believe that there's a message. Last night I spoke this. Inispeak ko po ito sa sa JTG Manila but I believe that there's a message specifically for JTG Central. Today, I will speak about elevation. Yes. Amen? Yes. Sabi mo sa katabi mo, elevation. elevation. Amen. Sino po dito nakasabay na nakasakay na ng elevator? Di ba? Maaring na tatawa kayo sa salitang elevation, pero gusto kong masigurado na alam niyo ibig sabihin ng elevation. Three days ago, ano dito po kami sa may first floor ng, ng ating church, dinala po kami ni Ate Love sa third floor. Sino po dito nakarating na sa third floor ng church? Amen. Amen. Bihira. Ang balita ko, exclusive lang yung mga nakarating sa third floor. Pilipili ang nakarating sa third floor. Kahit si Ate Love, na araw-araw dito na natutulog sa church, hindi pa siya nakarating sa third floor. Lagi ako nandito sa first floor. All the time, I'm here at the first floor. Sometimes, mommy will bring us to the second floor. And here's what I realized is that every time I go to the second floor, my perspective and my view changes. Kung ano yung nakikita ko dito sa first floor, ibang-iba yung nakikita ko sa second floor. Yeah. Diba? Yeah. Dito, nakikita ko yung walls, nakikita ko itong mga gamit, pero once na ako'y umakyat sa second floor, ang nakikita ko kalangitan, yung kapibahay. Yeah. Nakakit na ba kayo? Pag umakit kayo dyan, yung kapibahay, kita kita nyo, naguhugas ng pinggan. But first time, I was brought to the third floor. Church, that is what elevation is. Elevation is your distance from the ground from where you're at at the top. I believe that this season, the Lord is bringing an elevation to our mindset. I believe that the Lord is saying, come up here. You see, what I see from the stage is different from what you see down there. Unless you elevate, your perspective and your view will remain the same. God is saying, I want you to elevate. Tell your neighbor, elevate. And I realized, you know, I was there up on the third floor. And I realized that there's something, meron pa lang isang bagay na hindi ko pa naranasan dito sa building na to. Nung nandung kami sa third floor, it was late night, madilim. Eh, yung mga aeroplano, halos maabot na namin. Hindi niyo ba alam yun na pag umakit kayo sa third floor, the airplanes are really close to you as if you can jump and grab it. My team was with me like that night and we were like, hey, we're ribs. We're saying hi to the airplane. But if you're on the first floor, you don't get to experience what's on the third floor. Dito, naririnig nyo lang itunog ng aeroplano, pero sa third floor, nakikita nyo yung aeroplano. Amen? God is going to show you something you've never seen before. Tell your neighbor, God is going to show you something. 
Isaiah 55 verse 8, 9, if you have it in there, it says, My thoughts are nothing like your thoughts, yeah. says the Lord, and my ways are far beyond anything you could imagine. For just as the heavens are higher than the earth, so my ways are higher than your ways, and my thoughts higher than your thoughts. Narinigin na po ba itong verse na to? Minsan nakakala natin matalino tayo eh. Di ba? Minsan, makaisip lang tayo ng magandang solusyon. Akala natin, tayo na yung pinakamagaling na tao sa buong mundo. At biglang sabi ng Biblia, at sabi ng Panginoon, yung pag-iisip mo ay hindi maikukumpara sa pag-iisip ko. Kahit na anong galing pa na naisip mo, kumpara sa pag-iisip ng Panginoon, ito ay walang panamang. Tama po ba? Isaiah 55, 8, 9. And in the Bible, there's one story that really captured my heart too. Dahil pinakita ng Panginoon na isipan mo ay hindi papantay sa kanyang pag-iisip. Okay? If you have your Bible, switch, you open it in Matthew 14, verses 13 to 20. As soon as Jesus heard the news, He left in a boat to a remote area to be alone. But the crowds heard where He was headed and followed on foot from many towns. Jesus saw the huge crowd as he stepped on the boat and he had compassion on them and healed their sick. That evening, the disciples came to him and said, this is a remote place and it's already getting late. Send the crowds away so they can go to the villages and buy food for themselves. But Jesus said, that isn't necessary. You feed them. Keep going. But we have only five loaves of bread and two fish, they answered. Bring them here, he said. Then he told the people to sit down on the grass. Jesus took the five loaves and two fish, looked up toward heaven and blessed them. Then breaking the loaves into pieces, he gave the bread to the disciples who distributed it to the people. They all ate as much as they wanted and afterward the disciples picked up 12 baskets of what? Leftovers. 12 baskets of leftovers. About 5,000 men were fed that day in addition to all the women and children. Church, every day, we are holding our five loaves and two fish. Araw-araw na buhay natin, hawak natin ang five loaves and two fish. And Jesus is inviting us to His level of mindset. In this story, Jesus said, uh, He had compassion and healed the sick. And the disciples were thinking, naisip nila, Nako Jesus, hindi mo ba naisip na gabi na at walang tindahan dito? You need to release them. Pawain mo na sila para makabili sila ng pagkain. Parang mga typical na ano, minsan yung pagkain madamot ka, no? Naisip mo, ako po, liman libong tao yung narin ito. Eh yung pagkain ko, ako lang nagdala. Mamaya, baka hindi ni Jesus to eh. Minsan sino na karanas na gano'n? Yung para bang tayo kakaunti yung hawak natin, ang akala natin, hindi tayo magkakaroon ng impact. Sabi ni Jesus, oh. sabi ng disciples, pa-wait muna sila para makahingi ng pagkain. At sabi ni Jesus, hindi na mahalaga. Hindi, it's not necessary. You will feed them. Sabi nila, give me your five loaves and two fish. Sabi niya, sige, ibigay niyo sa akin ang five loaves and then yung two fish. Wala akong makuha ng tilapia eh, so century two na. Araw-araw, I want you to look at this because every day we are encountering a situation where Jesus is asking us to hand out five loaves and two fish. What does the five loaves and two fish represent? These are the things that you think that are very small that will not make an impact. Sometimes you look at yourself, tinitingnan mo yung sarili mo, sabi mo, Pastor, hindi naman ako marunong magsalita. Hindi ako marunong manalangin. Wala naman ako pera. Na hindi nga ako marunong kumanta. Paano ako magkakaroon ng impact sa mga tao sa paligid ko? Pero ang sabi ng Panginoong Isus, hindi natin sinakailangan paalisin. Kayo ang magpapakain. 
Because the elevation that Jesus was asking is that I want you to change your mindset about what you have. The disciples see the five loaves and two fish, but Jesus saw 5,000 people will get fed. 5,000 people got fed that day. We have to stop thinking that what we have is not enough. If our God is the God of more than enough. Yeah. You see, the, the problem sometimes is that kapag ang tingin mo sa isang bagay ay masyadong maliit, what you do is that you keep it. The disciples, we only had five loaves and two fish. It's not going to be enough. What Jesus is asking you is that He's inviting you, come up here, elevate here, to think like I think. Because how you've done it before is not going to work anymore. Every day, you are faced with a situation when God is asking, give me your five loaves and your two fish. God's challenge is in, He's inviting you to His level. What God is here, He's saying, come up here. Because what I see from here is different from what you see there. Yes. Amen ba? Yes. Tell your neighbor, God is inviting me. Yes. Church, we have to stop operating with our own mindset, with our own ways. Yes. You know what I realize? Our church, in this, not this church, but in general, in general, this generation of churches are very good at making disciples and training leaders that are well equipped na mga magdurek at marunong na maghandle ng mga churches sa panahon ng year 2000. But not this generation. Because we keep operating on our own mindset. How we've done it before. If you keep like one way, that's like one way, you know the song one way? You see like that's year 2000. I was like, no, pag pinuntaan, talo na kami lahat. Pero pag favorite mo pa rin ngayon, yun, may problema sa'yo, brother. Because God is the God of new things. Yeah. And Jesus is saying, I am, I'm, I'm inviting you to come up to my level. Because the disciples, probably when they were faced with the situation, kapag may ganong pressure, sabi nila, pauwiin mo na yung mga yan para bumili silang pagkain. Hindi nila nakikita na sila ang gagamitin ng Diyos. Amen? Amen? We need to see beyond the five loaves and two fish. Tell your neighbor there's more. There's more. Because it's small, we think it won't make an impact. We need to partner with God, no matter how small we think we are. What you have is more than enough. Some of you have only one hour that you can dedicate for church. It's okay. If you can only dedicate one hour for church, volunteer to the church. If you have a tiny voice, malit lang bata ng malit lang boses mo. Maybe somebody when you're worshiping there, maybe you're not part of the worship team, but when you're worshiping there, somebody sees you from the back worshiping with all your heart and that makes an impact in their lives. Yeah. That is your five loaves and two fish. Yeah. Maybe you only have one peso and you say, God, I cannot donate this because wala namang magiging impact. But God is not seeing the one peso. You see, in America, we think like, Oh, it's only one dollar. Ang one dollar sa America, hindi na namin halos nakikita eh. Uh, is it true, church? Yes. Are people from, from our church like, our one dollar, we, we just leave it in the closet, we leave it in the, we don't even pay attention to the one dollar. But you see, our perspective of one dollar is different from your perspective. For you, it's 50 pesos. For you, it's 50 pesos. For us, it's one dollar. Okay, let's talk about ten dollars. Ten dollars, makikita mo yun sa wallet ko, makikita mo yun sa bag ko, na hindi ko na nga iniisip eh. Na hindi ko na nga alam na may ten dollars pa ako. Tanongin mo si Sister Manet and Pastor Jun. I was with them about a week ago, and I left a hundred dollars in their car. And I was like, oh, it's okay. Pero subukan mo makalaglag ka ng 5,000 piso, halos mabaliw-baliw ka. Di ba? Lahat ng jeep na sila, kaya mo susuyurin mo sa buong paranyake. Church, when you elevate, your perspective changes. And the reason why God is inviting you so that your perspective of things will elevate. Can you say Amen.
And you know what? Sometimes it can be also our small victories in life. Minsan may mga bagay na napagtagumpaya ka na, contento ka na. You know, God's language is abundance, not famine. God thinks as a multiplier, while man thinks as a consumer. Five loaves and two fish. Jesus was looking at it and he's seeing, I will multiply this to feed 5,000. While the disciples were thinking, I only have five loaves and two fish. And there is 5,000 people. The reason why they're not matching is because man thinks as a consumer, this is mine. But God says, give me that. It's going to be yours and theirs and his and hers, your family, the people around you. Church, if you want to see something that you've never seen before, you got to do something that you've never done before. Kung gusto mo makakita ng isang bagay na hindi mo pa nakikita, meron ang kailangan gawin na hindi mo pa nagagawa. For the longest time, maybe the, the way they think, I will, I will ask them to go and buy their own food. But Jesus says, it's not necessary. You will feed them. Amen. Give me your five loaves and two fish. This year, the theme is multiplication. See, God is a multiplier. If we keep staying with the way we operate as men, we're going to be consumers, not multipliers. So we need to elevate to the mindset of God. Mm -hmm. Jesus is inviting at that moment, I'm testing you, give me your five loaves and two fish. What is your five loaves and two fish? What is Jesus asking you so that you can elevate? So that you can see what he sees? Like what I've said, church, God's language is abundance, not famine. 2 Corinthians 9, 8, it says, And God will generously provide all you need. Amen. Then you will always have everything you need and plenty left over to share with others. Kaya hindi tayo nakakaranas ng overflow. Alam nyo kung bakit? Kasi nga, we think as consumers. I remember when I was young, Pastora Milky would split her allowance. Na nasa college kami, kami po'y mag-boyfriend. Dahil wala akong magulang at ako'y nagsiserve full time dito sa church. So I can go to church, hahatiin niya yung baon niya. 150 yung baon niya, gagawin niya 75, 75. Para makapasok. Wala akong baon. Pero I remember myself, always, every week, every Sunday, I am praying, God, I want to be faithful to you. I need to give my tithes. Because I don't see that even if I don't, I only have a little of money, I don't see it as a little. Maybe my 50 pesos that I will keep on Sunday can cover maybe half of the food that we will feed the kids. Yeah. You see, 50 pesos is not just 50 pesos. Yeah. When God's hands is upon something, it changes. Yeah. It's not how it looks like. God's challenge is to invite us to elevate to His mindset. You know what our response is? Our response is to lose what is earthly to gain what is heavenly. Kung gusto mo makaranas ng mga kalamitan, milagro, miracle signs and wonders, you need to lose what is earthly. Are you here? Are you here, church? Pasensya na kayo sa boses ko, but I, I really want to drive this down. We need to lose what is earthly so we can gain what is heavenly. We don't need to die right now to experience what heaven is. You can experience heaven how it looks like here on earth. Jesus' prayer, let your kingdom come. Yeah. Let your kingdom come. Yeah. Yeah. Every day, Jesus is asking, five loaves and two fish. Five loaves and two fish. And you say, you know what? I'm going to lose what is earthly. So I can gain what is heavenly. Can you say amen? Amen. Yeah. Ang katotohan ng po, church, the amount is irrelevant. Hindi importante kung ilang loaves at ilang fish yung natutun. Because man thinks I only have five loaves and two fish. It's not going to be enough. But Jesus is not really into the numbers. It doesn't matter if it's only one loaf. It doesn't matter if it's only half a fish. No matter what the numbers are, He is willing to multiply it. 
Hello, are you getting what I'm saying? He's willing to multiply. It doesn't matter if you have five, six, ten. It doesn't matter if you have one person to donate for the church. It doesn't matter if you only have 30 minutes to donate for the church. But God is saying, you know, numbers is irrelevant. The amount is irrelevant. What's important is your obedience. The amount is irrelevant. Obedience is what's important. That's why we need to let go of the five loaves and two fish. Sometimes church multiplication looks like subtraction. Minsan, a multiplication sa paningin natin para bang subtraction. Because Jesus was saying, give me your five loaves, two fish. And the disciples were probably thinking, what? You're gonna take it away from me? Church, sometimes, multiplication looks like subtraction. Hindi siya times nagiging minus ba sa paningin natin. Only if we use our perspective, our own ways. But when God invites you and you elevate, now you see that multiplication is the fullness of multiplication. Can you say amen? amen? Before I finish, I want to give a testimony. In 2014, our church is eight years now in Santa Rosa. Pero ang lahat ng member namin halos ay puro Pilipino. And in 2014, we experienced uh, some, some kind of hardship. There was a little bit of problem in the church. And then, ang lahat, halos na mga Pilipino ay nag -alisan. Most of the Filipinos left. Because they were all friends. You know, Filipinos always kampi kampi. Tama ba? Tama ba? Kampi kampi. Pagka hindi, mo, pag hindi ka pumunta sa party niya, di ba, yung buong ang kanya hindi na rin pumunta sa party mo? What happened was that they left. And of course, my wife and I were so hurt. We were down to about 40 adults, 40 people. And if you're a pastor, it hurts when your people leave the church. Yes. Sometimes you think, is it me? Is it, who is it, God? You think, of course we got hurt. Plus, the, the fact that all yung mga umalis ay mga kapamilya na namin halos. And I remember 2014, we were so heartbroken. But I told God one day, I said, God, if you're gonna let them walk away, it's okay. But you owe me big time. I'm willing to give up all those Filipinos. But you're gonna send me the nations. But what the Lord was telling us is that we're not a Filipino church, we are a multi-ethnic church. And at that time, God was asking for my five loaves and two fish. Five loaves and two fish. Say, God, if you're gonna let them walk away, kasi lai alis o kaya pero may utang ka sa akin. I want the nations. We were down to 40 people. Right now, we're averaging 160 people to almost 200. People. And the Filipinos left, but the nations come. But the nations come. Sometimes. My driver is an Indian guy. Sometimes it's a okay white guy. Sometimes it's an African guy. I do ministry with people from different nations. But because God asked me for my five loaves and two fish, and I say, God, I give it to your hands. Listen, you have the materials, but God has the power. You have the bread, but he had the power. You can't multiply it. You can only consume it. So you keep operating with your own mindset. You keep consuming and consuming and consuming and consuming. It's never enough. But when you give it to God, so anything that God touches multiplies. God multiplies what we put in, in his hands, but man consumes what we try to keep in our hands. Kung ano yung nilalagay natin sa kamay ng Panginoon, yun ang namamultiply. Pero yung mga bagay na hinahakot natin para sa atin, yun ang nakukonsum lang. Kaya hindi sapat. Church, five loaves, two, two fish. What is your five loaves and two fish this morning? 
And here is the difference between Jesus' mindset and what I'm going to finish here. Jesus' mindset at the mga disciples. When Jesus invited them up to elevate to his mindset, to his level, to see what is seen, after the disciples gave it, Jesus looked up to the heavens. He looked up to the heavens. The difference between the mindset of Jesus and the disciples is that Jesus was always about looking for the will of the Father. He says, God, He says, Father, they obeyed. Let's do what we do. My people obeyed. Let's show them what we've got. They sacrificed their time. They sacrificed their money. Let's show them what you promised. Let's show them something that they've never seen before. Some of you have not experienced being a vessel to pray for the sick. Maybe this is the season that God is inviting you yes. to rise up. Yes. And say, you go to the hospitals and pray for yes. the people. Maybe God is asking you, it's your last hundred pesos. Give it to the poor. Amen. God is saying, come up. Come up. Yes. Come up. Yes. Because what you see there is not what I see. And when they gave it up, Jesus looked up to the heavens. And he multiplied it. And the Bible says, he gave it to the disciples. And he made the disciples distribute the food. Okay. When we sacrifice, when we give up our five loaves and two fish, hindi lang tayo mo, hindi lang tayo gagamitin ng Diyos, tayo pa mismo ang magiging tagapag-distribute ng pagpapala ng Panginoon. Akala mo, naubusan ka, pero ginamit ka ng Panginoon na magpapala pa. If you want to experience something like that, give up your five loaves and two fish this morning. What is your five loaves and two fish this morning? And with that said, the Bible says they picked up leftovers. God speaks the language of abundance, not famine. And I'm praying for Jesus the Gospel main church and the whole Jesus the Gospel that multiplication is at hand. Can you say amen? But we have to elevate. We have to respond to God's invitation to elevate the way we think, the way we do things. I'm going to finish with this. Have you been in a maze? Alam niyo maze? I've said this before too. When you're in a maze, yung pasikot-sikot na daan, inahalap yung palabas. When, you see, when you're in a maze, you see walls. You don't see the exit. You don't see the way out. Because it's right in front of you. But when you're elevated, what you see, ah, ganon, ah, ganon. See, that is what happens when you elevate. Your choice, stay where you're at or elevate for the glory of the Lord. Amen. I challenge you this morning. I want you to take worship team. You can come up here now. So, mga ito, isipin natin, ano ba Lord yung five loaves and two fish? Every day, I carry my five loaves and two fish. I want you to change my mindset, not to be a consumer, but to be a multiplier. This year, watch how God elevate you in your perspective and multiply the things that are in your hands. Si ipata sa atin ating mga kamay sa umagang ito, ipagsuma mo natin sa kanya yung mga bagay na kanya inihingin this season. Choices between you and God right now. Si po, wala po tayong inihintay kundi makipag-usap kayo sa Panginoon sa umagang ito. Kausapin natin siya, sabi natin, God, Matagal ko nang in-hold back to, pero Lord, I give it up to you this morning. Yung iba sa inyo, tinawag maglingkod, natatakot kayo, dahil marami kayo narinig ng ibang bagay. Yung iba sa inyo, tinawag mag-business, pero natatakot kayo, dahil inisip ko wala kayong pera. Yung iba sa inyo, tinatawag na magkaroon na ng asawa, pero nagpapakiyeme pa kayo. God is about to elevate your perspective this morning. But you have to give up your five loaves and your two fish. Lift it up, lift it up. Sige po, magsumama po tayo sa Panginoon sa umagang ito.
Hallelujah. Sige po, initay natin ang Panginoon na kumilos makipag-usap sa ating lahat. Sa umaga ito, sino nakakaalam na pag ang Diyos ay nasa ating kalagitnaan, Siya ay kikilos. Amen? I want you to open up your hearts right now and say, God, when you walk into the room, everything changes. My situation changes. My depression turns into joy. My family turns into abundance. This morning, I lay it all down. I give up to you my five loaves and two fish. Sige po, awit na natin siya. Hallelujah.